In this video, I'm going to show you one of the most underrated five wides in Madden 21. What's up, guys? My name's Cody, and I want to thank you for taking the time to watch today's YouTube video. Now, if you're new to the channel and you've never been here before, my channel is all about helping you become a better Madden player through offensive and defensive videos, just like this one, where we break down routes, combo, route combinations, passing plays, running plays, schemes that you can use to win more games and be more effective in Madden. So if you want to get better at the game, go ahead and click the subscribe button at the bottom right-hand corner of your screen. And we're going to dive right in. This is from the New England Patriots playbook. Now, for those of you that have been following me for a while, you know that the New England playbook is probably my favorite playbook and the best offense in Madden 21. And so if you want to get my full ebook on the New England Patriots playbook, that link is in the description. We're going to be going over this empty ace Patriot and a play that we're going to use um, to beat the cover three, four, one play touchdown um, is the empty stick and nods. So we've got empty stick and nod. We've got that in our audibles. Also have smash corner, Pat's double in, Pat's go wide dig. I didn't get any of the screens and stuff. You could definitely use them though. They are very effective, but um, for this video and the purpose of what we're trying to accomplish here, um, what we're going to share, share with you is this play, uh, where is it at? i got to find it here. Uh, it's not smash corner, um, it's, it's this corner route in particular, tight end shake. Yep, this corner route from tight end shake. And uh, defensively, because it's an empty ace Patriot, what that means is the defense is, or the offense is coming out with two tight ends. So if the defense comes out in the dollar or in the dime, I can just audible down to a running play. So the defense is going to have to stay disciplined, and they're going to have to come out in some type of nickel set. Otherwise, I'll just audible down. You see here that you can audible down to single back ace close and just run halfback zone weak. So if you see someone in a dollar or dime type of defense, then just come down here, run this run, and you'll be effective. It's still good against nickel, but it's not quite as good. Okay? So that being said, let's show you how to pass the ball. So the first play that I want to go over is empty stick and nod. Now this, in particular, is a cover three killer. Um, it's a very, very good play for cover three sky, like just a standard cover three. So if you're facing a lot of cover three with this, go to this play. You won't regret it. All you're going to do is put Mike Evans on a corner route and smart route it. It's basically a C route. And then I'm going to motion Godwin to the, to the right here to bring him in a compression set. And as you can see, it's this nice little stock fade. And what will basically happen is that corner route will pull that corner out of the play. And the safety can't recover. And you see it's a one-play touchdown against the cover three defense. One of the better one-play touchdowns, in my opinion, in the game because of how consistent it really is against the, cover, the, uh, the coverage. So then the next play off of that, and what they're likely to do is they're likely to play some deep halves. So they're likely to put their corners into these deep halves on the outside. Well, what you're going to do then is you're going to call your tight end shake play. And you'll see here that I can smart route Chris Godwin's corner route and basically make it into a very sharp corner route that's going to go, um, you know, and basically run forever. And you want to be on the right hash mark to do this so that you can have enough space. And then all we're going to simply do is take Mike Evans and put him on a streak. And then realistically from there, you can do whatever you want with these three receivers on the right side. One of my favorite uh, routes to put all these guys on is simply this right here. This is a very nice little three-man route combination to the right side of the field. And on the left side, we have a nice corner route that's very difficult to stop. And what you'll notice here is because he's coming out of a compression set, once he gets to the sideline, I can pass lead up, click on, and make a user catch on that corner route that's going to make it really, really effective. This also works against zone, or I'm sorry, against man coverage as well. The one other thing I would say is, you know, you could also create this little drag drag route to Cameron Brait here. This would be effective as well. But again, this is just cover three, and as you can see, it gets over the top of that cloud, or those, uh, those um, curl flat zones. So the five wide is really, really good. The next play that I wanted to cover is um, a play that will really help you beat man-to-man -man coverage if and when they do go to something like that. And that's the you know cover two man. And that's where I really, really like this play, uh, Smash Corner. This is one of my favorite man beaters in the game because, again, they can't press the tight ends. The tight ends cannot get pressed out of this formation. And so when we if we have a route chemistry, we can use um, a – kind of turn this into more of a standard corner route you see here not as it's a little bit more sharper of an angle and what you'll see is when you motion him in he doesn't get pressed and i can throw that corner out relatively easily um, on that side of the ball 
the next thing that I can do from this this place smash corner is and if I don't have a if I don't have a chemistry on him that's fine I just want to make sure I smart route Cameron Bray and basically I'm gonna it's essentially a high low read if they're not playing hard flats I can throw this route to Leonard Fournette literally all game long if they are playing let's say they're playing some type of Mabel coverage because you will see that from time to time so I'll show you Mabel coverage here with that same setup and essentially again we're just motioning Godwin in here but basically that will open up these little mesh routes, these little drag routes over the middle of the field. You can also low ball this route to Cameron Brait um, because of his alignment and the formation. Um, it allows you to do that relatively easily. So back to man coverage for just a second. Um, I want to show you the I want to show you these routes to the tight end here, Cameron Brait. And what you'll see here is if they're in man coverage, you're just gonna pass through that to the right. Now, obviously Cameron Brait is not the best route runner. So if you're playing Mutt and you can get a better route runner there, like a Darren Waller or something, this is going to be even better. But again, just throw it to the outside. As you can see right there, it does beat man-to-man -man coverage. The next thing that I would suggest out of that play in particular, let's say you wanted to kind of build around that corner route. This is a very easy way to do so. Essentially what we're going to do is we're going to bring Fournette in motion. We're going to motion to the right. And then all we're going to do with Gronkowski is we're going to just put him on a flat route. And this little motion right here will create a very nice little uh, a nice little man beater there. You can hit that low ball that that hitch route that he's on. Um, the other thing that you can the other thing that this will create really and more importantly against some type of zone coverage if you might get a zone coverage, um, this creates a really 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 nice little little comp concept here on the right side because the flat's going to pull the zones out and you'll be able to hit four net with that little hitch route all day long. So. This is a really, really good offense, and honestly, there's so much thing, so much that you can innovate with within this offensive formation. So I'll give you another play that you can use um, from like tight end shake or something like that. So let's say you wanted to do something like that right there, and then we'll just take Fournette and we'll put him on like a little little smoke screen or something, right? We could put Brait on a crossing route, motion him to the left, and we can snap him right there. And you'll notice now we have. You know, high low read. If they're not playing hard flats, we could just take Fournette. The five wide spaces of the field is what it comes down to. Now, one of the things you have to realize um, is you 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 want to make sure that you're accounting for you know the blitz. You want to make sure that you're always accounting for the user. Those are some really really important steps to making this even better. But I'm telling you right now, like this tight end shake setup. If you just did this right here, and then you had the tight end on a post route. Like this right, this setup right here, I'm telling you right now, is absolute money. Like this is one of the hardest little setups here to beat um, in the entire game, in my opinion, because of what the corner route will do against man most of the time, what the post route will do from the tight end, uh, and so on and so forth. So this offense, I think, is really good. It has uh, this Pats Go Dig play is really nice. Um, it gives you unbumpable routes. The other thing that you can do from this is let's say you wanted to have – Godwin on a crossing route right here. Maybe you wanted to do double crossers. You could do this very easily. All you're going to do is just motion Godwin to the left, or I'm sorry, to the right, and you see that you can motion him. You know, basically you can motion snap him. And what you'll also notice is the court, the the yellow or the the purple zones will sometimes suck in um, specifically against a, a setup like what I just ran. Um, for man coverage, you have this route right here to Gronkowski. If they're really running a lot of man coverage, you can motion call empty stick and nod. You can motion Fournette to the right here, and you'll notice that if they're running a lot of press man, which is kind of the meta right now, this route will kill it. That little motion snap of Fournette is absolutely amazing for press man, and a lot of people like to run press man right now. So this formation is a formation that I've actually been using a ton uh, on my own, just in, in weekend league and things like that, because of how good it does against that press man. As you see right there, you're almost going to automatically get a one-play touchdown if they do run some type of press man, even if it's cover two man. So that's a little bit about the empty ace Patriot. If you want to get my full New England Patriots offensive ebook, that link is in the description. We show you how to run this as well as several other formations in New England, like gun bunch, trip side in, split close, U trips, ace close, all of that stuff. And then even more importantly than that is if you want to get a free sample to the New England ebook, we actually have several videos in our text membership where we show some of the uh, more popular, more mainstream schemes like the trips tight end, like the U trips, like the ace slot offset, 
um, which you can audible into all of these from this one formation. So absolutely love this five wide. I think it's super underrated. I think it's really effective against the blitz. It's also really effective against press coverage, which is kind of the meta right now. So if you want to get that free sample, kind of check things out, text me. My number is 812-216-3644. It's also in the top left-hand corner as well as the description of this video. But other than that, guys, if you have any questions, we will be live streaming tonight at 10 o'clock p.m. Eastern time. So I want to invite you to come hang out with us there. Last but not least, just want to remind you if you want to get the full ebook, that link is in the description of this video. Make sure you text me if you have any questions. My phone number is in the description, and we'll see you guys on tonight's live stream.